I'll explain the measuring procedure of crankshaft deflection when overhauling the main bearing or when running the engine every 2000 to 2500 hours. If the crankshaft deflection enlarges excessively, the crankshaft may be broken and may result in an accident. Consequently, periodically measure the crankshaft deflection. Measure it when the engine is cold. Measure the deflection by the exclusive tool. Open the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders. Turn the flywheel to bring the crank pin to the position EB of 30 degrees after the BDC. EB is the exhaust bottom and the position of measuring reference. In this condition, fit the deflection gauge and set the needle of dial gauge in zero indication. Slowly turn the flywheel in the rotational direction of the engine. Measure and record readings of the dial gauge in order of exhaust side, top, pump side and pump side bottom. If necessary, read the needle of dial gauge by the deflection mirror. Measure in all cylinders and the work will be completed. The relation between the deflection value at each measured point with reference taken at the first point and the crankshaft is as shown. Allowable value of the deflection is as you are watching in the video. If the deflection increases every measurement and it exceeds allowable value, check the main bearing metal and correct the deflection. Since the deflection value measured under the hot state of the engine varies as depending on the temperature existing at the measurement, it cannot be relied on as the reference. Measure the crankshaft deflection when the engine is cold.